Jesus just stood there on the shore looking at them from 6 p.m. to about 3 a.m. in the morning and just look at them being harassed. They done come out of one miracle and then forgot he's gone. Then come out of one bad bout where God done worked out stuff for you, sis. You got a job that you shouldn't have and driving stuff that you shouldn't have and being promoted when they don't even know why they promoted you. And you get in some more trouble and then you act like you done forgot who it was that got you there. And if he did that, why can't he do this? And you struggling like you never saw God work a miracle for you. The reason what makes God stand there is because the scripture reads in its original text, they didn't even consider. Their hearts were hardened because they considered not the fishes and the loaves. My brethren, you haven't even put one one together. That the last thing, the last thing I did for you, you haven't even considered that. You have not stopped and understood what really happened to you. You just took the keys to the Lexus and, and just got into it. But you didn't, you didn't consider what it took to get you in. You didn't, you didn't even consider what it took to get you in the Lexus because your credit was jacked up. Ah, you couldn't even rub two pennies together and for some reason your name came up in TRW a number one credit and you knew better than that but while you were looking and wondering what happened God told you shh I'm working a miracle working a miracle for you shout hallelujah hallelujah and because you you didn't consider been wanting that house a long time walking by it just walking by it walking by it and saying well God told me this is my house then told the saints God said this is my house uh-huh he said it and you didn't have a dime to put on it went and found out that it was way much more than you even expected don't know the job don't even match the house but god said this is my house come on here and you just kept driving by telling the saints look at my this is where i'm gonna live God told me this is my house. You walk around and drive the saints and say, now stick your hand out over there and pray. Pray in that direction. And then you speed on off knowing in your heart you're going to have that house. Month or so pass by, the for sale sign goes up. God kind of, some kind of way, miraculously puts you in a house that your job don't even match. Then turns around and elevates you on your job so that you can keep the house. And then you didn't even have to put a down payment on the house. Because the man said, I don't know why I'm doing it, but I'm going to carry the house for you. Hey, come on here. I'm going to carry it till you got the money to put up for the house. And then you get in trouble down the road and try to treat God like a two cent hobo. Like God can't do nothing. So you worried about the wind and worried about the water. And worried am I going to die? And worried about what's going to happen to me? And worried can my bills be paid? And worried what I'm going to do because they gave me an dung and said I can't even have this job. But I'm here to let you know because you didn't consider your last miracle. When miracle time comes and this is is it the miracle of pass you by cause your heart is hardened somebody say wait a minute touch your brother and say wait a minute don't you want this next miracle and if they say yeah I do tell them look back and wonder how you got where you got how you made it over so say yeah Yo, yo, yo! Put your hands together and give him the praise. Come on, give him the praise. Give him the praise. My soul looks back, taking investment. 
investigation how you get them shoes you wear when you used to wear plastic how you get them clothes on your back when you used to wear synthetic stuff stuff that didn't even have good names had two or three names mixed up together in it come on here how'd you get that house how'd you get that car how'd you get to feel good about yourself look back and see who it was that brought me over and tell yourself if it had not been for the lord who was on my side Tell her I'm only here because God brought me. Tell him I'm only here because God kept me. Tell him he's been good to me. Look at me. Look at me real good. Look at me real good. Look at me real good. It's been Jesus. Shout hallelujah. Nobody else would have. 